back to Black Magic TV. Exciting. Oh, I thought you were going to clap. I was waiting for the. Oh, shit. I forgot that part. We got to start over. Okay. One, two, three. There we go. That's the lineup. Welcome back, Black Magic TV. You know what time it is. Um, yep. Back I'm, at it. I'm Little here. bro is here. I'm here. I got strong armed into a strong a quickie. Arming. Strong, strong armed into a quickie. I I've been lacking, uh, not really lacking or slacking. We've just been busy. We got yep. a lot going on. Since last you saw us together on the podcast, the TV show, whatever you call this, you're now looking at we back then we were just two normal guys. Yep. Just a couple of everyday Joes slaving away, slaving away, slaving away. And now you're talking to two moguls. Uh, visionaries, visionaries. Yes. The yes. president and vice president yep. of a LLC. Yep. The, <laughs> the CEO <laughs> and, uh, co-CEO, yep. co-CEOs of a corporation. We're just basically on our way to conquering the world. Oh, it's Nico Lynn, everyone. Of course, you Hello. probably already knew that little nah. brother. Now business part, official. We've been doing business for a long time, but now yeah, now it's uh, now we're official with the government. Now it's doing legit. Business. Yeah, it's been good. It's been a lot. It has been a lot. This it, it things it's been a lot, but it's been just as with most things that I do. It um all in. Well, fast. all in, but it happened quickly. <laughs> all in, fast, quickly, full speed ahead. Full speed ahead, but but that's good. We've already done a lot for for where we are, and not to jinx ourselves. Knock on well, wood. Plenty of wood around so, here. So yeah, plenty of wood around this place. Fake wood. This is real wood. Yeah, you gotta rub the John the fisherman. Oh, John the fisherman. That's my Les Claypool impersonation. Um, yeah. So we started out last May making shirts for the show we put on with heat transfer stuff. So we were like, yep. yo, let's conquer the heat transfer game and make vintage heat transfers. And then we did that and the shirts did well. And for once we didn't like, we didn't uh, lose a shit ton of money on doing something for once. Like uh, we actually made a little cash. So we're like, okay, let's take this cash and do something else with it. Mm -hmm. And uh, we were talking and it was like, well, how much should we spend to buy a printing press? And we had a number in mind. And then I found I bought us a whole damn print shop for less than what we thought we were going to pay for a printing press somehow. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it worked out well. It worked I still out remember well. I was in the middle of mowing the yard and you called and we're like hey what do you think of this and it was just like a regular manual like six color printing press for like 1500 bucks right. or something in that realm and i was like it seems like a decent deal but there's still a lot more components that need would be needed for that right um price wise it just seems like there's probably a better option out there we could try and get a bundle deal Right. And then like the very next day, this lady had not only one or two things, but literally everything. Entire printing shop. And it was like next to nothing. It was pennies on the dollar. Pennies on the dollar. Pennies on the dollar. Shout out to her. Beth? Liz? Liz. Shout out to Liz. It was Liz. Only yeah. I just yep. remember I can't remember the name of what her company was called. I don't know. It was like it was like uh, an area code in Tennessee, I think. Yeah, but yeah, and then that. Then we got it all. Then we had it in the garage, which the lack of of episodes coming out was solely because of. Uh, yep, that thing we got a. I got a whole stack of these five dollar units back there. I've been. I need to do a change out. That guy's got That's an issue. Or I'll put some vice grips on it to weigh it down. Ooh. 
Uh, I think we're good. Yeah. The lack of issues of the podcast was from uh, the printing stuff being all over my house. Yeah, it was overran. Yes, between that and then the van situation with the, the van safari situation was big. Was and big, bad. and it like bummed me out for like two months. But now that thing's back together. Yeah. If you're looking for a really nice safari van, hell of a deal right here. Hell of a deal. Holler at your boy. Um. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so we got that up and going, and we've been busy navigating all of that. Yeah, somehow I've become a. I'm uh, trying to learn how to be a businessman now. De- now you're definitely a businessman. Always have been a businessman. Yeah, but now you're. A, I'm a businessman to the government. I'm learning the tricks of the trade currently. A, a, a legitimate man. I'm looking to do business. But it's good because now we have a way. All the benefits we were missing out on, now we're getting those benefits. Yeah, it's been a long time coming for, for both of us. But Right. But now, also some other things have changed to where now, anytime someone wants your artwork, you've gotten your wish finally that you don't have to talk to people and that they now have to just contact the business if they want artwork from you yeah that is true thankfully i've got my new art rep slash manager right here and oh, i guess we should we we decided to call the company zoink yeah and then good to mention, yeah. print zoink print apparel design and design so it's zoink pad yeah which is great we already threw our first, we threw Zoink Fest before people even knew we had a business. Yep, that's how you do it. That's how you do it. That's we already have a festival. <laughs> Week one into being a legitimate company, we had a festival. Mm-hmm. And it was a good time. It was and a great, great turnout. Time. Again. And everybody was thrilled. Another smashing success where we did all right. Yeah. We're not getting rich, but. Well, instead of us continuously bending over backwards for everybody else's stuff and everyone else profiting off of it or at least staying afloat so they can keep doing whatever it is they're doing show-wise, right. we're now able to have our own ideas that we've always had and see them actually come to life and yeah, and continue to live on you know, and, and actually do stuff with them instead of go to somebody else's show right which has been awesome no it's great i still love going to the other shows the other shows are great there's nothing wrong with that but when you have all these other ideas you know it's like at a certain point something's gotta happen it's hard to keep up with the different everything this show's got this rule and this show's got that rules and this is that and this is this and this is for these people Mm -hmm. it's hard to keep up with it all yeah we just kind of eliminated all that shit yeah it's all gone that shit's gone it's whatever if you got some shit that's cool if you think it's cool then then i think it's cool yeah yeah so come on out i think that's cool if you got some sort of a ride and you think that it rules then i think that rules and you should bring it out because there are so many people i caught in september at our show at the big boogie that like they were gonna park on the street i'm like nah, player like come in Mm -hmm. also the rock and roll shows that we're doing. So we're doing yeah. four events a year, every, guys, every, everyone, all you dozens of people who are watching this. Um, we're going to do Memorial Day weekend. That Saturday is the Black Magic Boogie Down. Midsummer, um, we're still deciding on an exact continual date. Midsummer is... Zoink Fest, rock and roll show. Uh, Memorial Day weekend is uh, or Labor Day weekend. Labor Day weekend, excuse me. Labor Day weekend is the Big Boogie, where we crowned the Cool Cat of the Year award to none other than Mr. Jason Brunskill won this year, the one and only number one, the top fan of Black Magic TV. Southern Kansas' own, Jason Brunskill. Yeah, yeah. Who drove all the way from fucking North Dakota. Yeah. Drove all night from North, left 
Thursday to go to North Dakota to a van event. Left the van event Saturday night. Tag team drove with Joe and drove from North Dakota straight to the show. In two cars. Not one, in two different vans, I believe. Or did they show up in the one? No, they think they showed up in one. He drove a second van to town. He drove yeah. two vans to Kansas City on Thursday, left one with Mylan. Yes. Mylan brought three. that van to the show, and then they took the G20 all the way to North Dakota, came back. Janet got pissed because it was so hot, and she left in the van, in her van on her own and left Jason and Joe in the Econo line. Yeah, okay, yeah. But he had two vans. Not only did he go to North Dakota, he brought two vans to our event. Um. And then uh, the Saturday after Thanksgiving every year will be the informal ball, which is basically like a rock and roll prom. So the car events are totally free. The the boogie down, big boogie, free to enter, Mm -hmm. free to spectate, free, totally free. The rock and roll shows cost money but but very 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 little say hardly anything i think we put a 15 dollar 15 dollars at the door for the informal ball on november 30th this year but we've got four bands we've got the whiffs wayne Payne, and the shit stains uh we've got cool 100s and the jack offs from lawrence and then we got stevie cruz and cyan Mm -hmm. are gonna do the cinemaphonic dj so it's like a whole It'll be a whole, It'll be a show. whole night. I'm working on getting one of the comics to host it, but oh, that's, that'll be fun. I'm trying to get that to happen or finding some, I, I need some sort of personality. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, <laughs> but, uh, you know, for $15, you're going to get to see some of the best rock and roll Kansas city has to offer at a cool place. Yeah. Very cool. With all your cool friends, but all the money is going into the hands of the artists. You know what I mean? Yeah. Again, it's a, that's, you got to pay the bands and we don't have the money yet to just be like, well, we'll just pay that until we're looking for rich investors. If you're looking to sponsor this, we are looking to get the state, a state. Like I am looking for someone for us to sponsor bands at the car shows yeah, because be I got cool. the go ahead to do that, but we got to have some Jack to do that with. Right. So I'm looking for corporate sponsors. No, I'm looking for corporate sponsors to sponsor a, the most uncorporate event in America. Um, or just normal people. If you're watching this and you're like, I got some money. I'd like to sponsor that. Yeah. We'll take Hit that. me up. I'll take your money right now and give it directly to a band. To play the parking lot. Yeah. All punk bands. Because what we yeah, don't have in Kansas City is a punk rock car show anymore. Because the one we did have yeah. went to Platte City. And tentatively, maybe back. I, I, I don't know about that. Well. Who knows? Yeah. But there is one. Yeah, two of them. Yeah. At the beginning of the year and at the end of the year. Yeah, well, there's two of them now. Twice a year, there'll be two car oh, shows oh, well. in the downtown Kansas City area. Yeah, Strawberry Hill. And On then, the uh, hill at the 403 Club. And then the other, uh, the rock shows. And rock the rock shows. shows at the Union Library. Yeah. The most underground place. We tell you where it is, but we're uh, we're sworn to secrecy. You just have to hit me up and ask me. It's one of those type of places. You got to know what's up to get in with the cool kids. Yeah, yeah. But anybody that's watching this, they already seen Stevie. You've seen Stevie on here. So, we've been busy printing. Yeah. We printed today. We printed today. I'm covered. We're still getting set up. Garbage. Covered in trash. That's why we're looking at trash. We're trying to get the website set up. Mm -hmm. We're doing all these things I didn't think we'd ever do. Yeah. Which is weird. I thought we'd print shirts by like paying someone. I didn't think we'd be the guys to do them. To do them. Yeah. But we are. 
Yeah. I'm the fucking squeegee master, dude. Yeah, you've came I'm a long way. You <laughs> came a long way, man. Mastering the fine art. In a short amount of time. In a short, a very short amount of time. I did spend a lot of nights in my garage just... Cursing the fucking... Cursing and just totally screwing shit up just to try to see if something worked. Yeah. Making test shirts. That's the best way to, to learn. Yeah, it's the only, I mean, it's kind of the only way to learn. Now Nico uh, got me on the Photoshop, and I haven't used that in like 20 years. And I've been using this other program, and it's totally different. So now I'm trying to learn how to use Photoshop again. And by God, that's a damn... That's an, That'll drive you nuts, dude. Yeah, it's a whole different world. It's like four hours of me just l- sitting there deciding which which program am I supposed to do this in. Yeah. And it's a whole thing. Yeah, that sounds about right. I don't know how you can you've memorized all the keystrokes. Well, I've been at it for a while. Yeah. I've been at it for a long time, really. Yeah. Probably so. 15 years at this point, right? Uh, yeah, at least. You probably started using Photoshop when you were 15 years old, I'd imagine. Yeah. 14, 15. Probably a high school era thing. Mm-hmm. See, yeah, I did it in high school too, but that would have been in 1999, dude, 2000. Yeah. You know? Yeah, totally different. Even when I was. That's back when you just got different. the software and. Yeah, you actually just had to pay that big There sum was just up like front. a book, and I read the whole book, and then the teacher had me teach the class because I did all the work in like a week because I had a bootleg. Uh, all the software from your aunt? Yeah, because my aunt and uncle were pirate computer pirates back in the day. I I can't remember. I think my aunt's like online handle was like Red Bush or something like that. It's something crazy. So it's like totally inappropriate for like a child to hear. And like as a child, I didn't really get it. But then after I got older, I was like, that's really fucking funny. (laughs) Like your aunt. My aunt's had a perm Um, since like 1970 something, dude. She still has a perm. She still rocks a perm. Huh? Is it red? Nah, it's gray. I, I think it was probably reddish back in the day. Yeah, it's probably red. But she's just permed out, dude. Never not had a perm. Used to work at a bowling alley. Had the laziest throw, but would just like bang strikes out all day long. So we'd go up to the bowling alley to like do like the midnight bowling shit. Yeah. And she'd be in there working. She's just chain smoking cigs. She'd walk over. She'd like waddle over. She looks like my dad, right? She's built just like my dad, right? Okay, okay. Short, stocky. And she'd just like, grab a ball and be like, huh. And then we'd be like, what the fuck? And she'd throw a strike, dude. It's crazy. Aunt Janet, shout out. She's out in Arizona. She's out in fucking Breaking Bad land. She moved out there. Dang. Yeah. I think she's like mayor of a fucking trailer park or some shit. Really? Something like that. I don't know what she does. She lives in some like mobile home community, but she has like a, she's like a, a locked in. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? Where yeah. It's like a trailer park, but so she got like the, you know, she's got the unit that's she's got like one of those prefab homes. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? She bought one of those situations. Cool. There's several of them. She's like the activities director or some shit. I don't oh, know. Yeah, big deal. Yeah, I don't know. She came to town. She, she, uh, she kept. They kept going. Are you coming out here? Are you coming out here? And I'm like, I'm kind of busy, man. Like I, I'm trying, but we got a lot going on. You got a lot and then going on. They, my mom brings Junior back. I'm like, why didn't she just ride in the fucking car with you? And she's like, I don't know. I'm like, if she wanted to see me so bad, she could have just rode ten minutes down the road. Yeah, it's not me. like you live far. Yeah, it was fifteen minutes down the highway. Yeah, but we're we're working. We're I'm writing invoices and. Yeah. You know, I got black. I'm, I'm, I'm the fucking, you know, I'm a broadcast mogul as well here. I'm running a yes. television network yeah. over here, people. We got a whole thing, a whole production. Yeah. On that note, if somebody out there, uh, if you want to do some editing, if you want to get on the ground floor of this thing and do some editing, um, I would gladly there you go. Uh, take that offer and give you, uh, I, I would give someone a percentage of the channel, to be honest with you. As a shared thing, because we're getting close to being able to be monetized. I would give someone, if there's someone, if you're out there and you're an editor and you want to get in on this deal, I need to hit up some of the colleges or something. There you go. I think that's what I'm lacking is someone to do do some editing and then I can. Well, yeah, it goes back to you don't have a lot of time. No, to do that it's just time consuming thing. I, but. I, I, 
that will change because we're both working yeah. our day jobs still. Yeah. But Fridays, we've both removed Fridays from our uh, mm-hmm. employers. Um, pri- like our employers are not privileged to Fridays anymore. Those are for us. Right. And weekends are for the print shop. But it's so close to my house, too. We Oh, so yeah. we did have... It was in my basement. We paid off the equipment doing a couple jobs. Then we took that money, started the, the business, the actual LLC. We got an accountant, mm-hmm. did that. We have legit bank accounts and tax forms and all this shit. Yeah. And then we... uh so we did that and then we did some more jobs and we got a location up on fifth street in strawberry hill thanks yep. to our buddy chris yep thank you chris and, and then now we're still we're we owe uh, thankfully we have low overhead we owe no one any money and we own all of our equipment um so it's worked out nicely because we didn't have to borrow a bunch of scratch from anyone yeah yeah that's been it was just the equipment. We used my PayPal credit to buy that equipment, and then we paid it off. Mm-hmm. So yeah, that was. It's been great. It's yeah. gone quick. Yeah, it's gone quick. We thought we would just now be like, had we thought we would be maybe thinking about buying equipment right now. That was our plan. Mm-hmm. Or maybe have a business. Like our plan before the end of the year was just simply. To have an LLC, I think, was the whole, like, where we, after we got the equipment, it's like, we'll see and we'll pay it off and maybe we start a business this year. Yeah. And we've far surpassed that. Oh, yeah. But if you're Shit, watching yeah. this and you need some merch, holler at us. Yeah. Because we're going to get it going. But we're also going to make it to where you can join the Cool Cat Society yeah. through the, the website. And we're looking at how we're going to do that. I don't... I think that might be a one and done thing and just makes you a member so you can get in on that. And then that'll be like our way to like, you'll get first chances at certain things and we're coming, we're, we're figuring all that out, but we're going to start doing, uh, you know, pre-sale stuff so we can do limited release. Cause that's yep. a big thing. This would be the first one. Right here. Yep. The Amethyst Color Blast Sinker Surf Sweatshirt. 50 plus shipping. Coming soon to the website. You can get that. You can pre-order that. But we're going to do uh, like month-long pre-orders on stuff when we do these. And then after that, we're not going to do... That's it. It's gone forever. Yeah. yeah. Super limited. And we're going to switch it up on a, maybe we'll do it on a t-shirt. Maybe one's a three quarter shirt. Maybe it's a long sleeve. Yep. Yeah. It's just keep be it, a, keep it new and cycling stuff in and out. And yeah, we got plenty of ideas. So it's kind of trying all these different things out on basically whatever we want and see how it goes and how we like it. And Maybe we'll do more stuff that's similar or we'll just never revisit it again. Yeah. And just, well, and also it was like this. I, we bought these sweatshirts and we wanted to see the quality of them. So I've, you've seen me wear this twice on the show now, both these episodes, but I've been like basically wearing the shit out of this thing and then washing it and wearing it and washing it, trying to like, see how it holds up and so far Mm -hmm. this is a really nice sweatshirt they're really nice yeah and i think that's the other thing is like when it comes to these pre-order things we want them to be they're going to be next level quality it's going to be the highest quality we can get and we can do we can only do that because it's a pre-sale thing like we could never these are very expensive for us to buy wholesale so that's the only way this works because we could never I mean, it's hard to justify shelling out. It's hard enough shelling out for like the regular t-shirts to take a gamble sometimes, let alone, let alone these quadruple the normal price sweatshirts, but they're so tight. Yeah. They look, they look cool. Yeah. So are you excited about all this? Uh, yeah. Yeah. I'm exhausted, but 
I'm real exhausted. But it's been good. It's been rewarding, I think. I, I'm exhausted, though, because I go to work and I've been doing all this business shit. And then I got, like, Junior. And then, you know. Yeah. I guess I... I, I is it my, do I have a girlfriend? I don't know what that is. Probably at this point. Uh, say. I would say yes, and I'm very fond of her, but maybe you'll wait and announce that later. Yeah, whatever she is. Uh, you have a friend she that I've met? She's mad I didn't say her name. <laughs> She's like, you didn't say my name. I mean. Yeah, her name's Chloe. Yeah, Chloe's cool. Chloe's cool. Yeah. Junior likes her, so that rules. Everybody likes her. All the homies like her. She's uh, she did get skipped out on her uh, credit she was due for the uh, filming at the Rumble Drags. Oh yeah, I did forget to give her credit in the post post credit scene. She did help me film at the Rumble Drags. So yeah, round of applause for for Chloe and filming at the Drags. Dude, how bad were good. the Drags? The Drags ruled. Yeah, it was great. It was ruled somehow. Nico and I both. <laughs> we met on the interstate and we didn't even plan it. I just driving and I look up. I'm, I was. You are hauling ass. <laughs> <laughs> I've got dad with me and we're co coming off 291 onto whatever on north. And I, I merge over and I'm looking in my rearview mirror and I just see this fucking blue safari van. Yeah, baby. Trucking. We was trucking. And I already knew. I think I was doing about 85. I was doing 80. Yeah, and I was you, doing, you I just, was just, I was blasting. I was trying to get there. I told Todd I'd be there at a certain time, and I was already late. I was like, I'm on my way. Yeah, I think we said 10, and it was like 9.40. 940. <laughs> and, we're and we're not we're, even Carney. We're like, yeah, <laughs> we're, we're in North Kansas City. Oh, But the drag race is ruled. I got some cool footage. Got to see everybody. I do want to get out there next year on Saturday, though. Yeah, I went Saturday last year and it was great and then it was like well i gotta go sunday and so we went sunday this year and it's it cool. was still good it's good both yeah. days but it seemed like saturday was a bigger um as far as like just a show like, yeah like spectator or like right show car car show participants yeah whatever. we almost have to just might have to do a two day but might. then you gotta get a hotel yeah we're cheap yeah we're cheap we already. I don't out. know. I don't know. I I'm so cheap. I think I'm just gonna leave at like six a.m. to go to Dennis's show and, and drive hit back it the same all in night. one thing. Yeah, I already thought of that. I think that's what I'm doing. I don't know. I don't know how much it is to stay overnight in St. Louis. I'm not trying to get robbed in St. Louis either. <laughs> but then also, if I'm taking all the merch, yeah, then we got. I mean, fuck, dude. We got we got to unload the whole van into a damn because I got to take my camera, like pff, that's a high vault. That's a high risk. I lose this camera. I'm that. It's you over. know, it's over. It's over. The channel's over. We got to somebody got to fork out some sponsorship money to get another one of these. I still want to get two more cameras just to spice it up more. Yeah. I didn't Ooh, create more work angle. for me so I can edit oh, yeah. a three camera shoot. You know yeah, that I mean? sounds about right. That's usually yeah. how we do stuff. Yeah. We make a promise to each other to keep it simple, cut back on other things and only focus on what, you know, put ourselves first as far as projects or whatever. And then, then immediately we're calling each other going, well, I told Larry I'd fucking do this for him. Yep. Yep. But I have, I am done. I'm done after that nightmare with this guy and this paint job. I'm done. I'm done. Uh, I'm retired as a, I, I'm not painting nobody's shit no more. I'll do my own stuff and I'll do my stuff on the channel. And there's a few buddies I'll help out, but I, have the shops closed. Uh, we had a good run, but they've finally, they've won. Uh, Sean Archadino, you were right. Uh, it's not worth it doing all this <laughs> custom paint shit for people. And I will just go back to doing it for myself and building the cars during the day. But the hope is like, we're pushing, like, you know, we're trying to, uh, we have a goal and it's, it, it includes both of us only working for ourselves. Yeah. In the real near future. Yeah. I don't think that's a, yeah, I don't think it's a far 
far stretch no, at all. I don't think it is either. Yeah, and so the other thing with with having Tyler as my uh, manager slash like art rep is that allows me to like solely focus on what I have in front of me when I have time to do that instead of. Oh, but what I was say, I'm exhausted calls. from the 15 jobs I've given myself. You're exhausted because your wife makes you go to <laughs> emo rock concerts every other night. No. Every other night I'm looking online. I'm like, what the f-? I'm sitting there just motherfucking Nico. Like, God damn it. He's not answering. And I'm now I have to make this decision. And I don't want to make a decision and just be like, well, that was the wrong color choice for this shirt. And then I get on Instagram and it's like, oh, yeah, we're at fucking the uptown what? watching goddamn bullet for my Valentine or whoever <laughs> it is you're watching. My chemical romance. We saw we came as Romans. We that was like one of our first shows we saw together. They're old. Yeah. It was fine. But um yeah. That keeps me plenty busy as is. But then doing these other last minute shows and artwork, that's been uh that's been a lot. But it's been good. Like yeah. the stuff we just did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was like a really rushed, crammed thing that's like in the back of my head, it's like, well, I've got to get it done by like, I've got like five days, but really that's condensed to like maybe five hours of actual time to like work on it. Yeah. And so it kind of just holds me accountable to try and really do what I can in that short amount of time, but try and make it something cool. And I'm excited about. Well, it makes you have to simplify the design. And I think it made it came out. I think it yeah. came out really cool because of that yeah and i don't have time to like overthink stuff or, or be like well right it can set in this stage for a while so it's like i gotta get this done well yeah and that's just good training because that's basically how it will be mm -hmm. when somebody as people call us thankfully we've printed a lot of shit that you you already did like we did all the rumble drag stuff and you had already done that yeah which we're going to get on those things early, but if, yeah. if some band calls us and they're like, Hey, we want shirts and we need them within a month, then it's the same type oh, yeah. of deal. We got to just, you just whip it out. Yeah. And it's been going good. Yeah. We've just been whipping it out for a while. Yeah. Which is nothing new really. No, it's just been, it, and it's been cool too. Cause it's like, well, once I finish this, we immediately print all these shirts that we already had waiting to go. Right. So it's always cool to see stuff get used and well, yeah. And then like being able to hook the tool guy up so that he, yeah. with that old art as just like yeah. a, Hey, let us, you hooked me up. Like let, let's hook you up and yeah, we'll take yeah, care yeah. of him. Yeah. But that's just it. Like that's our, the goal is to like get it to where all of the shit we print is shit that we've designed. Yeah, absolutely. And, um, just keep making the next thing even cooler than the last. Well, and like somebody was talking to me and they're like, oh, like they have this misconception about it all, about everything we've ever done. And they don't understand that. Like, no, it takes two of us. And they're like, well, what do you mean? I was like, yeah, well, like no one person can their brain can't come up with this many ideas. Like there's so many times where I just like the fucking flyer for the thing where I just take like a photo and I start stacking shit on top of it and it looks like shit. And then I'm like, yo, this is it, but it's, you gotta, yeah. you gotta, here's the tools molded into this thing. Cause I can fucking explain it to you, but I can't tell you, I can't do it. I don't know how to do it, yeah, but we, we work, work well. well, like, because you understand what I'm saying when I'm like, make it look like the shit the fucking dot shit you know yeah yeah <laughs> no we work well together uh yeah usually you have quick one-liners and good ideas and and stuff that is punny and funny and works well together but yeah it's usually just like words a couple words yeah and, and i like, can ah, see like a, a thing shirt and then the i thing. tell you yeah just like earlier like, like, yeah, like, put nitroglycerin on there with a the fucking dragster on the back yeah. or something yeah that sort of thing. Yeah. But it works out great. Yeah. 
we basically just fucking yeah yin and yang balance each other out i mean we crush um, it every time you know it has been really nice though focusing on our stuff and just well it's nice to not have like instead of us both trying to work a job and then like okay i gotta make come up with this much extra money this month somehow yeah like now it's like no screw that like we'll just do this and like no more no more hey but let me get that there's no more buddy deals the buddy deals are gone right the buddy we have bills the buddy deals are done they're done they're done yeah so that's good but so far we've you know i think focusing on quality yeah um and then uh quality of not just the design but of the finished product yeah and just everything just everything and then learning what we can do what we can't do what who we need to be in business with to mm-hmm. you know like coming up with the foil poster things and like doing yeah. all that like that's been great and we're doing those for sister ann's now and yep it fucking rules yeah no it's been going great yeah just a lot but, it it always, been, but it's yeah, always been it's a always lot. a lot. So it might as well be a lot for us instead right. of a lot and everyone else benefits from yeah, it. I realized I forgot to change the color of the light bulb. See, that's how wore out I am. I forgot to change the fucking light bulb color. What were you going to change it to? Purple. Uh, purple. Always on that perp. Dude, uh, I would like... So after Aaron was on last week, he asked me to go film at the comedy club for him. Mm-hmm. And then I did that. And then he was opening for William Montgomery, who's on Kill Tony. Mm-hmm. So then I got to hang out with him, and that was pretty cool. Yeah, that was worth the. I needed a night out with the boys, but it was just a bunch of dudes hanging out talking shit to each other. It's kind of nice. Yeah, it's great. That was a good time. Shout out to Aaron, Aaron Scarborough. Yeah, he's got the paintings back there. He's got the artwork back there, the George Bush. But yeah. Yeah, I don't know much else update. I mean, there's a lot, but also... I mean, yeah, I don't know what else. We got the informal balls coming up. That's the next thing. That's already set in stone. We got that all. Oh, we're also working really hard on doing things in way... We're trying to get on a way in Mm. advance schedule. Yeah. So... Yeah. (laughs) I'm just trying to get out of that uh, the week of like Mm -hmm. finish the like drop off the painting as it's still wet to be hung in the art gallery. Like, yeah, those days, those days and the buddy deal days, those are kind of those are fading away. We're we're getting getting those out of here. We're getting on top of it. Yeah. And then I'm on. I have one. Paint job left that I'm working on for someone. Yeah, that's exciting and that's slim's gas tank i gotta finish the flames on it and then you're down to like your last bit of i'll still take stuff on um it just kind of if it is far are you talking like paint stuff well i'm talking about like yeah you're still gonna do the paint stuff and the you know the that stuff but when it comes to any the artwork shit, we already know what time it is on that. Like you're almost down to your last thing that you had yeah. before. So then after that, that's a whole different deal. Oh yeah. You're saying like before, like before like, we uh, decided we were doing it this way. You know what I mean? Yeah. Where essentially they, like, cause this was what beginning of summer loosely. Or yeah. And then I think it was probably like a month ago where we were sitting down and it's like, okay, from now on, Let's start handling stuff this way. Every, yeah. Everything, even, you know, we even said that I would run any paint jobs. We'll run them through the business. So that way it's legit now. But oh, for I just sure. don't even want to do it. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, no, no, It's no. not even worth doing. But yeah, but even still, people want to, you know, I, you know. Yeah, as far as like art goes. Oh, oh yeah. You're as far as art goes. Art. Yeah, I'll still do the artwork. Um, But yeah, it's going to be more of kind of dealing with with uh tyler here first to navigate what it is you're actually after and if that's something that actually makes sense for us to take on right take on 
And then if it does, you know, what kind of parameters are we talking and, and just kind of do all of the initial groundwork to, to figure out, you know, what makes sense and what doesn't so that I can continue to keep doing what I'm doing and not spend any time or energy or, um, you know, it, it's, it's easy for me to just kind of do, oh, well, whatever. And it's easy for Tyler to say, hey, no, like it's either going to be this much amount of money or like it's not happening. Yeah. And that's like what you, I need. There's, there's several people in town that are I'm going to have some discussions with now because they've for years taken advantage of you since you were a youth. Yeah. And well, they've exploited you. They, it, it, they have been exploiting you. Um, you've just been okay with it, but it's not okay because that kind of mentality that they have is, is, is the same thing I've dealt with too. And it's from other people exploiting me for what I do. Right. And right, then it's right, like, right. you have this dream and this goal of wanting to own a business and, and, and only do this. But then there's all these people that should be supporting you. But instead, it's like, well, what can how can we get this for free? Right. And it's like, well, no, there's no freebies and all that shit that was for free. Get ready because you're about to get the letters that inform you. uh, You either pay up or you quit using that artwork because it ain't yours. Right. Yeah. So like that's that's where we're at now. We're in that new chapter, which is good. Yeah, we got contracts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got all sorts of things. But yeah, and then you did finish out. I am. I I do need to hit up James and Misha. I would like to print yeah. those shirts for them. That design yeah. you did is super bitching. Yeah, and I have a second one that I'm just wrapping up right yeah. now. But um, yeah, like that was can that's we, been cool. Can we talk about the other thing that you did? I don't know what other thing. The big thing. The big thing the the uh i would say the spread for the big company oh like with like yeah 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 i don't yeah well nico put together a whole thing for lmc which if any of your car people you know who they are but it's like super fucking bitching and i wish we could show people because it looks tight but he basically made a merchandise line and then made a catalog for the merchandise line but he like nailed it for every subculture of truck person. So there's like merch for like people that are into classic Ford trucks from the fifties. And then the merch kind of matches that. Then there's like the OBS Chevy shit and it's like flat build hats and like everything was like, then there's like the 70s style Broncos and in pickups. And you got, you got like the cool lettering on all that shit. It was really cool. Thanks man. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what, Hopefully that turns, hopefully they do something. Yeah, they seem pretty excited about it, but um, at the same time, I don't know what is in store for all that. Right. As far as like near future stuff goes, but yeah, that's the whole thing that was like, that's my whole thing is the paying attention to all the details and kind of knowing what, you know, goes where and kind of how to address things a certain way and. So, you know, being able to apply that like for them was really cool, but then being able to take that and deal like with our print stuff that we have going on or anything that comes our way, just having that in the back pocket and being yeah. able to showcase that and, you know, it doesn't always have to be monsters around here, I guess, but I'm right. cool with that. I'm always down with that, but, but we can do whatever yeah. we're, we're like, it's so much more than that. And that's what I've told people. Like a lot of people, they don't know cause they haven't seen that side of things they haven't seen the other stuff you mm-hmm. know what i mean uh, and they got to a little when we were doing those art shows every month back yeah. in the day because we were we were kind of purposely pushing ourselves to do weird and different things right a little bit not, different yeah not then, always just like well stick with what you know then just a rat fink on everything yeah yeah fucking rat finks everywhere you know, for as much as I, I'm kind of turning into Ed Roth, dude. Yeah. But I was trying to not be Ed Roth, but now I'm like, maybe I'll just do that. Maybe no. I'll be the next. Lean into it. You know, 
lean into it full full send on that mid-sized daddy <laughs> mid-sized daddy <laughs> mid-sized mcdowell yeah <laughs> that'd be good oh that's it i like that well it's uh friday at yeah i don't know what time it is i know you gotta go in a minute oh shoot yeah 340 340 yeah i should probably get before I get stuck out in Strawberry Hill. Oh, yeah. Chloe's probably blowing your phone up. Chloe called. Logan's texting me, asking me to go to breakfast tomorrow. Just oh, to, man, you, you know, got a full weekend just already. Just big businessman. Oh, baby. Look at that. Hey. hey. For the month. Nice. Goal reached. Goal reached. All right, guys. unlocked. As always, uh, you know... Thanks for watching. Yeah, like, comment, subscribe to Black Magic TV. Uh, always a pleasure to be on here. As you can tell, the sign is no longer blasting your face. Thank you, Luke and Tiff, for the sign and for the um, dimmer switch yeah. now. That dimmer rules. switch. Uh, you can find us on Instagram with the print shop at Zoinkpad, Z O I N K P A D. Mm -hmm. uh, and then the website should be up. If it's not up when you're watching this, it will be up Soon? in the few days following. But that's zoinkpad.com is what it should. It's supposed cool. to be. That's what I paid for. I was trying to get that dot, should work. I wanted do, zoinkpad.gov, but they were like, no way, dude. Not yet. And then I tried to dot CA. And I thought maybe if we fooled people into thinking we're Canadian. <laughs> and then I was like, can we get a dot org? And they were like, no. And then I was like, what about a dot edu? Because it's sort of education. Yeah, yeah. And they're like, absolutely not. You can get a and then I was like, do dot net still exist? And they're like, no, we don't even do that anymore. And I was like, shit, man. Just give me the calm, I guess. Yeah, you're backed into a corner. Is, it, is that short for communications then? I honestly don't know. I don't know. I never thought about it. But the rest of them Could all be. have a meaning, right? Could be. I wonder if that one just stuck to where they're like, yeah, we'll just stick with this one. Dot com dot com just fucking keep it just keep it keep it a dot com well thanks for watching right. guys yeah stay tuned for more uh madness madness full speed ahead <laughs>